Clayton Hall has been in office for exactly one week. As the new president of the Jamaica Teachers Association, JTA, he's leading the biggest public sector group in Jamaica, over 20,000 teachers. But with the many issues facing teachers and the entire education system, it's a tough job to navigate and there will be criticisms. For Hall, those came immediately. The Gleaner recently had an editorial, I'm sure you saw it, I think it was last week, mm -hmm. and they criticized you based on your inaugural speech, yeah. saying that you seem to have, and I'm, I'm reading the quotation here, the old-fashioned soapbox-style trade unionism whose primary, if not sole, objective is squeezing out more pay for its members. Oh, do you think that is uh, an appropriate, do you accept that criticism? Let's, let, let's look at it from this standpoint. There is absolutely no credibility in trying to indicate that I am from the whole school. Fact of the matter is, I have been installed the youngest president of this association, and it is because of the contributions I have made and the confidence the teachers have reposed in me. The hard fact is, we are a teacher trade union. And a part, a, a significant part of our responsibility is to seek for improved benefits and conditions for our members. But will you admit that the JTA has not been nearly as publicly vocal about those other issues as it has about the salary issue? That is a matter of perspective. We have always been very vocal on it. It is the fact, though, that conversations regarding salary does attract the media much more than those other arguments that we want to have. Now speaking, since we're on the issue of salaries, what mm -hmm. is the position now regarding the wage, wage agreement with the government? We have ended the 0810. We have also ended the 1012 period. And we are now into the 1214 the period. And to date, we have not had settled two periods prior. It means, therefore, that regardless of the perception, teachers have been extremely conscientious about the economic state of this nation, as well as their own economic survival. There are persons who would want to believe that we are unreasonable. I think we are. We have not caused much uproar. We have always sought to have meaningful dialogue concerning our economic realities. But the fact is, the same economic position that the government finds itself in is the same economic position that the teacher finds themselves in. So what will it take for teachers to settle on the 2010-2012 agreement? The, the, the agreement was not reached, not because teachers felt that it was unreasonable, but the, the teachers felt that a a, a sign-off on a wage freeze was a netama to our very existence as a, as a teacher's union. The teachers wanted an agreement or an offer on all points of the claim that was submitted. Hall says he expects to be called to a meeting with the Minister of Finance this week. But what of those concerns that the JTA should transform itself into a professional organization focused on lifting the quality of education? Hall says this is indeed his main objective. He's already been championing the cause of children with special needs who are often left out of the education system. What are some of your main goals as president? The, 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 the one I would like to place at the top, and this incorporates basically two ideas, is that of inclusion. We want to ensure that there is inclusiveness in education, and not just inclusion as in getting persons in school so we can count them present, but ensuring that we offer the right scenario, the right environment, to ensure that these children act, uh, actualize, self-actualize. 
The first one I want to look at is that, ha uh, that having to do with special needs education. From UNESCO's, UNESCO's assessment, it says about 15% of all normal populations have learning disabilities. More or less, we do not have the capacity within the Jamaican education system to cater to those persons. And I speak basically of those persons with mild to moderate learning disabilities. The, we also have challenges with those persons who are physically challenged. Our school plants, especially those that were built some years ago, are not equipped to deal with persons having mobility challenges or mobility issues. But from, from the standpoint of those with learning disabilities, the ones that we, learning challenges, the ones that we sometimes miss, I would like to see us creating places in existing schools where we could just get a, prop, a particular classroom, probably have it retrofitted to suit certain peculiarities. We could employ the requisite staff. It would mean that in that way, without building a new school or rolling out new overheads, we would be able to accommodate those persons who have these challenges. We, we, we would also, I would also want to see this kind of, an, uh, 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 of erudication being rolled out in the teacher training institutions where it becomes almost mandatory that each teacher, regardless of his or her area of specialty, does even a prerequisite course in spotting, identifying children with learning, learning needs, learning challenges. Additionally, Hall is a champion of the case for teaching English as a second language, which he says is not to be confused with teaching Patois in schools. In, in my inaugural speech, I pointed to the adoption of certain pedagogical principles. When I spoke to the teaching of English as a second language, I have come to recognize that there are factions within society who misunderstood that to mean teaching of Patois. In the teaching of a foreign language, there are certain pedagogical principles that you employ that I would like to see employed in the teaching of English. I want us to move from the assumption that our students are native speakers of English. In doing so, we must also find new assessment strategies to test English. Any child doing one of the modern languages would be asked to do an oral examination. I would want us to implement an oral examination for English because regardless of what we want to say or what we think, we must recognize that the native Jamaican language is not English, but a, but a, but a Creole. And then there are those dreaded CSEC examinations Teachers have caught flack for the dismal grades in this year's Caribbean Secondary Education Certificate, CSEC, usually taken at the end of high school. Burning my mind today is the statistic that I want to share with you, that only 16% of our mathematics teachers in Jamaica are qualified in mathematics. That's a reality that has now been presented to me. What we have to do then is to upgrade, not just to be sorry about this, but to upgrade what has happened subsequent to the release of the CSEC results is that persons have done the normal knee-jerk reaction. They've actually begun pointing fingers at teachers as the cause of the reduction in this exam. But let us look at it from a statistical standpoint. If you are going to be looking at the variables that are involved in a particular result, and you look year over last, the only way you could identify that it is because of teacher competence why the results have fallen, you would have to prove that there is also a 20% reduction or 20% change in the teachers who taught the year before over this one. It means, therefore, that it is highly logical for us to assume that it is teacher quality that has actually caused a decline. What's clear is that Hall's tenure, like those before him, will be filled with challenges and controversy. 
But with young blood in the office, he's prepared to take it all on.